Right, first we need to remove the pages and I found the easiest way to do this is just to uh, slice the spine, spine off the back of the book with a bandsaw. I know people use all sorts of things like using heat guns but I found that this is definitely the quickest and easiest way to do it. Now you can see all the every page is released and there's no sticky glue or anything. Our next you need to align the the book page so as the holes actually come within the page. You don't want one kind of halfway half into the book and half into midair. You can see that I've punched some holes in it already. And those spikes are just somewhere to keep it while you're waiting or while you're doing the job. Uh, my um, hole punch is supposed to do 15 sheets, but uh, I tend to do a lot less than that because I, th I think it's a lot easier. Obviously it's really important that you get these positioned correctly because you can ruin the whole book if you end up with the punch holes in the wrong place. So it's better to take your time. So fast forward a bit, you can see that I've more or less done the whole book now. This is just the last couple of pages. When you do cut it with the uh, bandsaw, you should always check the, the few pages by the cover, uh, front and back, because sometimes they're still stuck together. Uh, it can be a pain to get them apart after you've done the binding. So just make sure you check those. So that's the uh, that's the whole book been punched now. And we just take the book off of the spikes. And what I'm going to do now is measure it, measure the book to try and decide which comb to use. They come in quite a lot of different sizes. Probably a bit of overkill, but seeing as I've got a vernier gauge, that's what I use. You could just use a, a steel ruler or just any ruler really to measure it in millimetres. Okay, well I've measured it up and I reckon 22 millimetre will easily cope with that. In fact, I probably could could do it with a 20 millimeter but I don't have any of those so 
that doesn't really matter I mean you can change it later if you want you can put it in if you think it looks a bit loose in there then you can get yourself some you know the next size down and then take it all out and put it all on the new cone it's not a, a kind of a permanent installation Uh, it can be a little bit fiddly getting these things on the combs. Um, just keep wriggling it about until it until it goes on. And sometimes it pays you to, to just, you know, use smaller bunches of uh, of pages. the last few pages on there and that's it put it back in the comb shuts up now it's on the comb so I'm just going to uh, cut the excess off a pair of scissors and there it is on the comb, uh, a lot better. Now you'll find that you can put it on a piano uh, or on a music stand and it lies flat, which is perfect. Hope you've enjoyed the video anyway.